four years ago in this venue. I ate a hot pepper and talked about Xcode. It went great. So I'm back for more. I am Zeb Eisenberg, and this is Spicing Up Swift. Uh, so the Swift part is obvious. How are we going to arrange the spicing? Uh, so this is this one. This is a habanero pepper. I know, I hear the disappointment. So it is uh, between 100,000 and 350,000 SCOBY units. SCOBY? SCOVILLE? I'm not sure. But just to make things a little more exciting, I'm going to cover it in some chili sauce. Why? Because I needed something to make the ghost pepper flakes stick. If nothing else, that sound will have been worth it. These will be available after, if, uh, if anybody's interested. Oh, why? 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 Well, that kicked him right away. <laughs> Here, give it a minute to warm up. Oh, boy. Uh-huh. So, um... I'm here to talk about Swift, <coughs> and um, that's what I'm going to do. Seven tips and tricks. Here we go. What could go wrong? You should be using SwiftLint. SwiftLint is a tool that comes out of the open source community, and it's to catch errors, like sort of style things in your code. What's wrong with this code? Who cares? Nobody wants to talk about it. <laughs> Use SwiftLint. It will tell you. It will minimize, minimize all the... In this conversation about style, oh, there's a piece stuck in the back. <laughs> Go on. Oh boy. <laughs> Don't sneeze, yeah. So you should be using SwiftLint. It's great, throw it in your project. Initialization. Who wants to talk about initialization? Here you've got a view controller, it's got a label up top, and then you configure it later. Oh, that's really bad. In the back of my throat. Oh, it's split up too many places. This initialization <laughs> is, no, the code, not the pepper. Um, <laughs> This initialization is a little bit better, it's more compact, but the label is twice and there's other stuff duplicated. This one's really bad. It's nice and concise, but to read it, your eyes have to go like this. Whew. I'm feeling like that right now, too. This is what I recommend use then. It's a third-party library, throw it in. You can just get all your nice, all your code compressed. Let's keep going. <coughs> if case let, it's a weird syntax thing. We have an optional person. <sighs> Uh, we can unwrap it. If we want to get their last name and that's on optional too, we can double unwrap it. Let's unwrap a third thing. Oh no, address is not optional. We can't unwrap it in the middle of an optional chain. Put the word case, it solves all your problems. Yay. Mapping and optionals. This is the one that's going to be really annoying to talk about. We have a function that takes a string and returns an optional int. We can do all the fun unwrapping stuff if we want to double that number. Unwrap it, it's optional, we double it. We can map on optional, and map is like, take the value out, manipulate it if it's there. That's what I said. <sighs> what if we're loading something from disk, we get some optional data? We want to do the same thing, map it and turn it into a string. Oh no, string initializer. It returns an optional, so it's a double optional. Use flat map, yay. <sighs> Read it, I won't. <laughs> Uh, people ask me if I have a juggle while I did this, so I will. Uh, oh. Swift Weekly Brief is a community newsletter. It tells you about Swift stuff. Oh. Did you go be that? Sw uh, weak self. You do it like this, but self could become nil in between those two lines. So you uh, unwrap strong self first. When it's Swift 4.2, you can guard less self equals self. Uh, identifiers. What's wrong here? Who knows? It's that line. I, wrong ID because it's all strings. So instead, we make an identifier, initialize it with a string, make those typed identifiers. Oh, oh this is a bad idea. Uh, 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 now it gives us a compile time error. Oh, that's over sooner than I thought. <laughs> This is inspired by a YouTube channel. Go look at the YouTube channel. Oh. Oh. 